part five of our discussions here at the tavern. I welcome you to now a thought of family. Indeed, family is important. I came from a family. Well, my father sired 17 children, seven from his first wife and child, and 10 from my mother, Wyatt Folger. And I remember sitting at a table of 13 people, and then my father would also welcome in travelers, be they uh, lowly sailors or ship's captains or pastors and speakers of all sorts, educational travelers such as teachers and lawyers who are coming through town who may need a pleasant meal, always simple, but always hearty. And we children were allowed to ask questions of our guests if we were polite and could frame our questions well. And that helped inform early on my ideas for what is family, what is travel and the purpose of it, what is the benefit of sharing of these ideas. But family has always been important to me. My own family was fairly small. I had but three children. Of course, Francis, my youngest son, passed away when he was but still uh, very young. Always a sad portion of my memories. But adopting family was something we all did. Oftentimes it was not unusual for a couple to have a child and then one of that couple would pass away. And then that remaining spouse would remarry and then that family would be adopted into the new family and mate perchance the original partner would pass away eventually and then that remaining partner would have to marry again and then so you have a family now that is totally not of blood but they're still most close and I adopted socially many people um, Annie Ray Green for example um, and of course there are others the Stevensons in London and my family in Paris, um, all of them, very close to my heart. As a matter of fact, some became closer than some of what remained of my, my poor family, of my children, uh, especially William. Sad. But if you find those who you love and who you cherish, bring them into your family and accept entrance into theirs. We have the right to socially adopt. We have the right to bring close to us those who we trust the most. And by that benefit, we expand our influence and we expand our, the pool of those that we may draw from for reference and, um, and insight into ourselves and to our work and to better it. For those voices we trust. And where trust is, love can grow.